Davao Occidental Representative Claude Bautista paid a courtesy visit to Pastor Apollo Sikibuloy of the Kingdom of Jesus Christ in Davao City on Friday, where he expressed his support on the supposed confidential funds of the Office of the Vice President and the Department of Education. Moreover, Chinese Ambassador to the Philippines, Wang Silian, also visited Pastor Apollo earlier on Friday. Precious Alvarez reports. Despite his busy schedule, Pastor Polo Siki Bloy of the Kingdom of Jesus Christ welcomed Davo Occidental Representative Claudio Bautista at the KGC headquarters in Davo City on Friday. The two leaders discussed matters concerning the lawmakers' district in Davo Occidental and other issues over a simple dinner. Representative Bautista also expressed his gratitude to Pastor Apollo for the friendship and the time he spent with him. He also expressed his admiration for the good pastor for the ongoing construction of his mega-project, the KJC Kingdom, which is the biggest indoor cathedral in the world. Earlier this year, the two friends met at the ACQ Tower in Makati City. I was very surprised, no? Sa paghatag sa ko, kahit ganyan na nga mutuyo ko. First time na ko nakita na ano dahil tayo world class na stadium dere sa Atua sa Davao City nga atog yung ipanghambog sa tibuo kaliputan no o ang entrance nakita na ko nga lupig pa ang Las Vegas ani sa kagwapo I'm very proud sa binuhatan ni Pastor no nga di na ko may imagine nga kaya dahil niyang imagine nun ang unimaginable congratulations to Pastor Kibuloy for the job well done and making Davao City to be proud of Well, old friends, they come to see me and we uh, had a good chat about things, about our visit to them and their visit to us. And especially uh, Congressman Claudio Bautista is an old friend of the ministry. Siempre from Daba Occidental is the congressman there. I visited this place before. I think I will visit him again also. Well, anything normal in the kingdom is world class. Yeah. <laughs> Because we have the revolution of excellence here. We are also proud that this is a landmark of the Philippines and is found here in Davao, our hometown. On the other hand, Representative Bautista also expressed the supposed confidential funds of the Office of Vice President Sara Duterte and the Department of Education to focus on the concerns of the students, teachers, and to combat insurgency. The lawmaker added that most of the recruitment of the communist groups begin in the classrooms, which is an important matter to be addressed to. Okay, baluta, na ang gigikanan sa mga insurgency, gigikanan sa mga mga leftists nga mga patis, gagikan sa mga estudyante o sa mga nagtudlo ng mga maestra. Kung saan na ito pagkahibalo, kung na ay mga kapulian na hitabo sa estudyante, na ay mga, na ay mga estudyante nga na-convert na o as young as 9 years old, 10 years old, recruited na sa mga NPAs. Kung saan na ito na pagkahibalo, kung walay magpaka, walay magpaka, magpakabana na mahibalaan na siya, Representative Bautista added that Vice President Sara Duterte is not also pushing hard to have the confidential funds and that there is no need to make it controversial. Meanwhile, earlier on Friday, Chinese Ambassador to the Philippines Wang Xilian also visited Pastor Apollo at the Covenant Mountain and Paradise Garden of Eden Restored in Davao City. For God and my beloved Philippines, this is Precious Alvarez, SM9 News.